Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2020. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Taurus in January? What do we have for Taurus? I just saw 444, which is universal protection or angel protection. You are protected. So if you are worried, just remember that all is well. Okay? Ooh, the star card. The star reversed. Now, this is a loss of hope. You may be feeling hopeless. Um, there may be in a You may be in a situation where uh, things seem like they aren't going to go in your favor. You may be worried that they're not going to go in your favor. This is like a card of despair. But like I said, I just saw those fours and fours are protection. Okay. Um, let's see what we got to go with that card. Oh, yes. Okay. So we're good. We are definitely good. So you may be feeling gloomy. But I have to tell you that you really are shining. Don't lose hope. You are shining. You are. You are. Um, there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be worried about. You're going to be happy. This is a card of extreme happiness. Abundance. Enlightenment. Could have something to do with a child. Um, somebody could be uh, getting pregnant or giving birth. You may be up against a brick wall and you feel like um, something is going not going to go your way. But I think it is going to go your way. So don't worry about it. This is, this is happiness. Extremely happy. Being right in your glory. So you may feel or, ha or have a, you know, you may feel like it's not going to go in your direction. But whatever this is, I, this is extreme happiness. Two of Pentacles reversed. Um, this is chaos of some sort. You may be dealing with some chaos. There could be a loss of something with these two. This is this. It's like there's two here though. So there's something to do with the number two or two things. Maybe maybe um, you're needing to adapt. Maybe you're needing to be more flexible. Maybe you're adapting to some changes, changing circumstances. Maybe there's something that arrives that makes you very happy, but there's a need to adapt to this change. Now, this is perseverance and hard work that pays off. Your hard work is paying off. You may feel guarded. You may feel like you need to protect yourself. You may feel like everybody is out to get you. That somebody, everybody or somebody is out to get you. Okay? That's what it looks like to me. And you're just waiting. It's like you're waiting for the next ball to drop. Now, this is a competition, but this is the end. It's the end of a competition. This is relief. Be patient. Don't lose hope. Everything changes. Your hard work, your perseverance, your ability to weather some sort of storm. It's like you're going to win. You're going to win whatever this is. There's gonna, this is a rejection of some sort with the Six of Pentacles reversed. So there's some sort of rejection or a lack of reciprocation. Somebody could be in a one-sided situation where they're not getting what they deserve. This may seem like it's unfair. Somebody may feel like it's unfair. Or they may just be worried because this is worried. Somebody may be worried that they're not going to get something. But this is the end of conflict, the end of competition. It's over. Somebody is not happy, whether it's you or the cross watcher or somebody else. Somebody's definitely discontent, not realizing that there's a better opportunity or refusing to see. There's, a, there's another opportunity here. So this is an opportunity for emotional happiness or emotional fulfillment. But somebody is really overanalyzing, definitely overanalyzing here. So I can see that we have somebody here that is really worried. But I think that... 
You're missing something. You're missing something. The chariot reverse. This is something coming to a complete halt. This is also a loss of self. You know, perhaps there's even a, a lack of willpower or a lack of movement. Somebody may be blocking their own success with their thoughts. I think it's their own despair. Self-loathing, perhaps. Worry. Definitely worried. But you're going to get what you, what you asked for. You've manifested something. You're going to receive this gift. You're going to receive whatever it is that you asked for. So yes, this is even in reverse, the star is still a good card. Whatever you're asked for, you are going to get. Okay? So stop worrying about it. Stop worrying so much. You manifested this and, you're, and, you're, and it's like they're going to give it to you. Okay? But don't lose your focus. It may not be easy to go down the road that you are going down. It may be difficult, but as long as you follow through and you don't give up and you keep your eye on the prize, you will get the prize. Okay, so you're going to get the prize. Your hard work is easy to see. Okay, your strength, your stamina, the fact that you don't give up. So don't give up. Don't give up. This is a this is a new enterprise or a new doorway that is opening or a gift. You're being given something. Knight of Wands reversed. And the f you're dealing with this card. I wanted to clarify this right away. The five of so you're dealing with somebody who is petty, okay? Somebody that is trying to make you feel bad, somebody that is trying to bring you down, somebody that is competing with you. You definitely have a competitor here. Whoever you're dealing with is um a boastful this person is a troublemaker they're overly competitive this is overly competitive and this is competitive so whoever you're dealing with I feel like they probably have a really big chip on their shoulder and they think it's funny they think it's funny to see you struggle for some reason they do they think it's a big joke but I think they somebody may be stopped right in their tracks it may not be so funny after all you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't want any responsibility and they don't care who they hurt and um, they're all very selfish. We have a very selfish energy here and uh, the death card reversed. This is like a, you do need to be careful, okay, during this month. Make sure that you slow down because this is moving way too fast. You may be, somebody, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with may seriously have a really big ego and they're not paying attention and they they could get in a car accident okay because this is the, both of these reverse there could be a car accident maybe you know they're they're just showing off we do have a show off here showing off i mean this could be a near-death experience and this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with um <clears throat> This is also somebody that is holding on to a dead end and it's getting old. It's time to release. But we have somebody here that is very childish and petty. And it's like they can't let go of something and they need to. Um, this is not seeing, avoiding the truth, in denial. So you you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like that's who it is. Could be anybody else. We have, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Leo, we have Aquarius, we have Scorpio, we have Cancer. Um, but this is somebody that is unwilling to accept the truth. And there's definitely blocking going on here, trying to block somebody's success. Somebody may be trying to block your success with their stupidity because this person is stupid. They are. The Knight of Wands reverse. This is somebody who's dumb. They're a troublemaker. They have a bad reputation or they're giving themselves a bad reputation. Well, that just flipped right around. We're going to have to take it. You're going to, you know, I feel like we, we have somebody here that may be under attack and you need to protect yourself. You need to defend yourself. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Everybody may be pointing their finger at you and you're up against the crowd. 
but I think that you have the strength. You do have the strength to stand alone. You may be standing against the crowd. You may be standing alone this month. Because we got somebody, people here, or a person that is refusing to see the truth or not seeing the truth. Definitely not seeing the truth. But this is, keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. Do not give up. Stand your ground. Four of Swords reversed. Remember I said, and I put it right here. This is like a near-death experience. So I'm not, I'm not sure if it's, if it's you or somebody may be experiencing a, or they have, or something like that. Because this is definitely a near, it is. That, them words came up for a reason, okay? Ah, so you're probably going to need to retreat. You may need to just be alone. Maybe somebody passes away and you need to heal. That could be the case. I'm just being honest with you. Um, now this is, is, is you, somebody really needs to slow down. Because when you speed, that's when accidents happen. So I feel like there's there's something going on here where somebody is moving too fast and there could be an accident. They're just not paying attention. It's like they're not seeing something because they're, they're focused on something else and they get into some sort of accident. So if you're putting on your makeup or you're playing with your phone or you're playing with your music or, or whatever, stop. My advice is to stop. Pay attention. Especially when you're behind the wheel during this month. Four of Wands reversed. There could be an upcoming celebration, or there was, okay, or there has been, but it didn't end as well as you hoped, or something like that. There could be an upcoming celebration, uh, but it's not what you think it is. Okay. This, this is a, this is the, when you get the four of wands reversed, this is your party is over. The honeymoon is over. Things aren't as happy. They aren't, it's not, it's not happy. Okay. It's not happy. So some, there could, this is definitely, and this is a four and this is a four. So four, four so far. Um, and one plus three equals four. Two plus two equals. So well, we definitely have these fours here. Anyway, all is well. There is universal protection here. You will be protected. You are. And this, I do see that. I do see that. It feels like there's somebody from the other side that is guiding you. Okay? I feel as though um, there's an unhappy situation that is probably coming to an end. All right? Um, or something is coming to a dead stop. Okay? Um... There's definitely going to be a change that you need to adapt to. And this could be a loss. It even could be two losses because I saw that earlier. So somebody could be losing more than one thing because of their impulsive behavior. Very impulsive. And it's about ego. It's about the looks, you know, it's like somebody's focusing on how something looks, whether it's their self or whatever it is, and that, that focus is going to get them in trouble. But this is a card of happiness and rebirth. Oh, we have a permanent loss here, Taurus. So you are going to be experiencing, this is a permanent loss. I know that it is. And there's going to be a need to recover. Okay, this is seriously. There's going to be a need to recover, to regain balance, to regain stability, to heal from this situation. So I think it's going to be a month of healing for you. Whether the loss is experienced in the months prior or during this month. Because it could be. Because I, I've seen this recently. And this is being recorded in December. So you may be ex experiencing a loss or two or something like that the month before 
and now you have to take time to recuperate because recuperation is needed. I feel like there, there could be a relocation, there could be a change in your home, a change in your job, a change in some sort of foundation because fours are about foundations and this is about a foundation and these fours, how basically all of them happen to be reversed. So whatever this foundation is, there's going to be a change in that foundation which causes definite upheaval, disru disruption. Okay, it may be a very shocking change, it could be a sudden change, but in the end it's going to make you extremely happy, extremely. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a blessing, okay, it's a blessing. So you're going to receive, be receiving a new opportunity, it's like you asked for this, here it is, and it may not be in the form that you were envisioning, okay. Um... This is a release. This is a definite release. It's letting go of something. You're going to be seeing things in a whole different light in January. You are. Your life will never be the same. I just cut the deck. There's an unexpected opportunity, okay? for a union. This happens very unexpected. An unexpected choice in love, a decision that leads to a commitment and when you get the lover's card it doesn't have to mean that it's sexual partners okay this is a union this is two people coming together and this is love heals this is also a choice it's a choice between two a choice between two people somebody may be making a choice they may be choosing you over somebody else or you may be choosing somebody but this is not who you think it is okay that's the thing with the lover's card this is unexpected. It's really not who you think it is. So this is an unexpected choice that is going to be presented to you to unite with somebody that you didn't think you were going to unite with. So that's what we have here. I think that and on the bottom we have the Queen of Swords reversed. This is You may be feeling bitter this month. You may be feeling resentful. Or you could be dealing with a person. This could be a stepmother, okay? This could be the wicked stepmother. This could be this could be the person that's trying to bring you down. This doesn't have to be, but it could be. This is somebody that isn't very logical. This person is definitely not awake. This person doesn't think clearly, doesn't see things clearly, works out of a very low vibration. So, um, You may need to stand your ground against this person who is, this person may be very jealous of you, most definitely. This person doesn't um, care who they hurt. They're very selfish. So I think you're dealing with a selfish individual who's probably going to be jealous. And you're, and maybe that's part of this, part of this loss. That's part of the, part of the month. Okay, you're going to be dealing with somebody that is very, very bitter, and they may, maybe, maybe their, their energy is shifting over to you because I feel bitterness. I feel resent. I feel, I mean, there could be an element of vengeance here. Somebody may be vengeful towards you, and you just need to hold your head up high, and look at that. Just, just look at the whole situation. I mean, it's, it's clear. It's clear that this person is not awakened and just just stand your ground, persevere, do not let them knock you down, do not let them shake you. I feel like whatever this is, you will win, you will come out on top, okay? You will come out on top and happiness will be yours. There is a release here which is going to change your life. Okay, so be prepared for a major life change. There's going to be an unexpected choice. If you are single, somebody you could meet somebody at a gathering that you did not expect. Okay, and this gathering could be a funeral. It doesn't have to be, but it, I mean, I'm just saying it, it definitely could be a funeral. It doesn't have to be, but it, it could be. You, it doesn't, some other, or something that, I mean, this is, this is a split. I think there's some sort of split here, but there's an, another opportunity. So be prepared. Okay, um, some of you, if you are in a commitment and everything is good, you could be getting proposed to. You could be getting an engagement ring, okay, for some of you. Um, whatever is happening, 
you're going to it's you're going to be happy by the end of January you are going to be happy you are going to be happy that you didn't give up you are going to be happy that you stood your ground you're going to be happy that you whatever you have lost I'm sorry but this is happiness and this is a loss after an unhappy situation ends abruptly So Taurus, be prepared to see th life with a whole new set of eyes. Good luck.